Flame City family, what is up? It is Rose and Bobby back in the kitchen for an epic Costco haul. There's a lot of new stuff at the warehouse, and I was hoping to film this in Costco, going around showing you all the things to buy, avoid, and why, but here's the deal. Last time Art and I were there filming the frozen food review, we got the ax, right? Luckily, we finished the video, but afterwards, the manager said that from the executives in the corporate office, the word came, hey, next time you see Bobby and the Flav City crew, please tell them not to film there anymore. And hey, it's their store policy. They can do what they want. And I get it, right? Our videos get a lot of views, Rose. And I guess that makes us a victim of our own success, but it's not gonna stop us, right? They said, hey, if you wanna do videos at home, Instagram stories, go ahead. So I had to go there yesterday and get all this amazing stuff for the haul because, Rose, there's so many good things at the warehouse right now, including keto, paleo, and next level stuff that I wanna share with you. So hopefully I'll petition them with an email to a corporate, or if you wanna politely on a social media, tag them and say, hey, Flav City, get him back in there. We love him. I'm the reason why, uh, he's the reason why we got the membership. That's cool too. Hey, before we cover all this amazing stuff, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, all those good things. But right below the video, I think right around Rose's head, is a bell icon. You're gonna to wanna to enable all notifications by pushing Rose's button nose because we have so much content going live every single week, including the live streams on Friday night called Hashtags Fridays with Flav, where we make a recipe from start to finish. You're not gonna wanna miss out. Okay, where to start this haul? I know where I wanna start this haul because I was walking around the aisle and my eyes almost bugged out of my head when I saw this. This is the best in class coffee creamer on the market. It's made by Laird Superfood. If you've seen my coffee creamer review videos, I think we have two now. This has consistently been one of the best because if you look at the ingredients here, let's do it together, Art. But look at these ingredients. It's dairy-free, best in class ingredients. Coconut milk powder organic coconut sugar, a lovely paleo sweetener. This is aquamine. It's basically a calcium from algae that they derive and organic extra virgin coconut oil. It's less than one gram of sugar per three quarters of a teaspoon. They recommend adding one tablespoon. So we're talking just under three teaspoons of a great sugar I'll talk about. And what I love about this, see that, the MCTs. So how do you get the MCTs in there? Well guys, when you buy MCT oil and powder, it is derived from coconut, right? Coconut oil, coconut fat, coconut meat has natural MCTs. MCTs or medium chain triglycerides are so good for us because they uh, give us energy, they boost our brain, and they actually help with uh, weight loss by curbing your appetite here and there. This is so amazing because number one, it's dairy free. The flavor is fantastic, but go right next to it in the warehouse and see the traditional kind of uh, creamer. This one here is called Coffee Mate. We all know this. It's in like the work break room, uh, the typical fare. Compare these ingredients. So I see the first ingredient is corn syrup solid. So uh, GMO, high fructose corn syrup solids instead of paleo coconut sugar. We have hydrogenated vegetable oil in the form of palm and uh, coconut. So they're taking a fat, hydrogenating it. When you eat a hydrogenated fat, your brain actually can't recognize it. So it doesn't know how to store it. It's literally devastating for your body. And there's artificial flavors, natural flavors, and a bunch of other stuff. Guys, that is literally par the, for the course for a standard store-bought coffee creamer. The layered is so much better. It's $20, right? But compare that to the price on Amazon, it's way, way better. Now, I wish they had this. This is actually Laird InstaFuel. This is what I drink every weekend. So look at the ingredients on this. It's coconut milk powder combined with good quality uh, instant coffee, a little bit of coconut sugar, and I believe they put the aquamine in there too. You guys, if you love coffee with creamer, this is next level. It's a bit pricey. I'll put the Amazon link down below. But on the weekends, and only on the weekends, right, we have this with our keto pancakes, our pasture-raised bacon from Thrive Market, and all those yummy things. But my God, I thought they only had this in LA. It's going nationwide now. This is probably one of the best high-quality coffee creamers in the nation right now. Good on them, right? So that's fantastic. Next up, where to go, Rose? Let's go to collagen. So we talked about collagen in many videos. Why is collagen great? Because not everyone is like Rose here, right? Not everyone has those collagen-filled cheeks, and if you feel her skin, it's like butter, right? Pasture-raised, grass-fed butter, right? Daddy's 42 years old, right? You guys might not know that, but yeah, I'm 42. As you get older, your natural collagen goes away in your body. Um, this is a great supplement to that. It's also great for your joints. 
very, very important as you get older, but it's very good for your hair, your skin, your teeth, your nails, and your gut, right? It's very important to foster your, your gut health, Rose, because 80% of the cells that make up your immune system live in your gut. This is something you want to eat every day. We've talked about it at Costco before. So this is actually not the size, I believe, at Costco. They sent me this in the mail, but it's grass-fed, unflavored collagen. Fantastic to take twice a day, but here's the deal. They now have brand new at the warehouse, this. This is flavored on-the-go packets of grass-fed collagen. And here's the caveat emptor. I would not buy this because while this is straight up uh, unflavored, look what happens to this. So this is interesting flavor, right? Dark chocolate berry and vanilla. When they start doing that, what do you think they're gonna have you guys, right? Coconut water powder, amazing. Natural flavors. Organic blackberry powder, amazing. Organic cacao. Don't know why they put the natural flavors in there. And for the vanilla, instead of using vanilla extract, they're using natural flavors. So we've talked about that to the nth degree. If you're new to the channel, which a lot of people are, we've been growing like a spaceship lately. So thank you for that. Natural flavors really are another word for, for artificial flavors. You really want to avoid them. The weird thing is, Rose, that the powdered flavored ones have it. But the drink that I love, the Vital Proteins liquid flavored water, like this is strawberry lemon, doesn't have it. It just has strawberry juice, lemon juice, and monk fruit. So there's something about the powderized process that does it, and they add natural flavor. So I would avoid that. But for the best deal ever on collagen peptides, scoop the big, I think it's a 24 ounce container at Costco. This stuff is something you want to take twice a day. I put it in my morning tea in my afternoon smoothie. So very excited they always have that. We have to go here, right? Y'all are so funny. You always send me DM, well, <laughs> DM is flexible, DMs and emails of Costco finds. And thank you for doing that. It really keeps me on my toes. Well, this is one of the newer Costco finds right here. Keto snack mix. So check this out. See, this kind of stuff bothers me because keto is so popular now that Rose, what a lot of people do when there's money involved, they bandwagon, right? And I think the keto diet is actually getting ruined because just because something is high fat, low carb, doesn't mean it's good for you. And here's why I don't like this. So we look at the front, looks good. Probiotics, that always kind of, kind of makes me leery. But here's the ingredients, right? It's almonds, pepitas, dried, bless you, dried cheddar cheese, not organic, but very hard to find organic dried cheese. Do you guys see the one ingredient that really makes me upset here? Sunflower oil. Is it expeller pressed? No. Is it organic? No. And when you see these probiotics, please keep in mind that shelf stable probiotics are not really that effective. You need the ones in the uh, refrigerator aisle. And yeah, it really has two net carbs per quarter cup. But you guys, it's basically just a combination of nuts, seeds, and cheese. Of course that's keto. I mean, my God, by you putting it in a bag for us and labeling it, Keto, it doesn't really make it anything that special. So the cheese itself, someone just told me on Instagram stories yesterday, look at me, all funny. <laughs> they're like, the cheese is grossly under season. It has no flavor. That's what somebody told you or that's what you're saying? No, that's what someone told me. They said the cheese is bland as can be. It's bland. This is basically nuts, seeds, and cheese that has no flavor. But by packaging it as keto, they can charge a premium price and they're using the bad oil. If they're gonna use sunflower oil, it has to be expeller pressed, meaning it's not as highly processed and refined. But my keto diet, my paleo kitchen, my keto recipes in my now number one best-selling book on Amazon in soul food cooking category and food allergies, thank you for that. I never thought of myself as a soul food chef. Um, practices good quality fats, avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil. That's the kind of stuff you want. Sunflower oil, even if it's expeller pressed, is garbage in my opinion. So epic fail for that one. Okay, where to next? There is a good amount of, we'll call them oatmeal snacks at Costco. So I came around the corner. So I saw these organic heavenly hunks, really cool name, and they're on sale, $6.99. It was, it was a great, no, it was a great price. I agree 100%, but what do we do, Rose? We look at the ingredients on the back, right? So we turned it around and it really gets interesting here because it starts off good. It starts off with organic gluten-free oats. So if you're celiac, it has to be certain, a certified gluten-free. And then dark chocolate chips have a little bit of cane sugar, standard for the course. The first half of the ingredients are lovely, but then the hammer gets dropped, right? We get palm shortening, yikes.
Oh no, there's three sugars, brown rice, cane sugar, and brown uh, sugar, and way too much added sugar. We're talking about nine grams of added sugar per serving. So that's too much. So speaking of too much, this young lady is hungry. I'm gonna pass her off to mommy, and I'll show you the much better option for oatmeal squares. <laughs> there you go, mom. Yeah, right? Good. Thank you for the transition, Rose. <laughs> So what do you do instead? Well, I had never seen this before. I walked up to the fridge case, just seeing what's new there, and I saw these. These are organic super omega squares, and it's another oatmeal-based square. But let's compare the ingredients of this versus the hunks I just saw. So we look right here. Organic oats with a star. Everything with a star is organic. Oats have to be organic, otherwise they score high in glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, because they are sprayed with Roundup. Coconut sugar instead of cane sugar or brown sugar. Hip hip hooray. Once again, coconut sugar is a paleo sweetener, low on the glycemic index. Coconut oil instead of sunflower oil. Hip hip hooray. Real ingredients. Real ingredients. The cranberries, you guys, are sweetened with apple juice instead of sugar. That's so hard to find. Now, there is sunflower oil here and here, but... It's used in the cranberries and dried blueberries. We're talking a trivial amount. They probably outsourced that from somewhere else. And we're using everything else super duper clean. Four grams of added sugar for two pieces. But this sugar, you guys, is a paleo sweetener in the form of maple syrup and coconut sugar. I'm okay with a moderate amount of that. I'm not okay with added cane sugar or brown sugar or brown rice syrup because those are in my opinion, inferior high glycemic sweetener. So this is fantastic. I gotta see how it tastes. Now, we don't eat too many oats around here, right? Because we're a little bit intolerant to oats, but I'm gonna try this. Oats actually, well, someone's not happy. Oats can have a bloating effect on your stomach, and I think a lot of people don't know that or realize it. So I would try eliminating them from your diet for 30 days and see what happens. That is delicious, wow. Absolutely fantastic. So I'd much rather you have these than the other hunks. They do have these paleo bites that are in the non-refrigerator session that are very good too. But you really want those high quality sweeteners, not the traditional cane sugar ones. All right, let's reach into the bag of goodies and grab out granola and muesli. They actually have a really good selection of granolas at the warehouse. We've talked about it in the past Costco videos. I'm gonna link all those videos during this one and put it in the end cards, so make sure to check that out. Um, one of the coolest things I haven't checked out yet is this muesli. So muesli is a really nice either quick or overnight kind of oat-based uh, breakfast, and I love that I see organic here. So let me just explain this really quick. We have a video coming out next week about foods with the highest amount of glyphosates in the grocery store. Glyphosate is the active ingredient in Roundup from Monsanto, our buddies, right? The reason why they spray wheat and oats is not to kill the, um, the weeds around the oats, it's to desiccate it or dry it out at the end of the maturation process. That makes it dry quicker so they can harvest it really quickly. The problem is when you spray it with glyphosates, that's toxic to humans. So organic oats score very low in glyphosates while conventional oats score really high. So if you eat oats, please get organic. But look at these ingredients, you guys. So gluten-free certified organic oats, we got the star. Sorghum flakes, a, glu a gluten-free grain. Buckwheat, a gluten-free grain wild blueberries. They're wild and crazy guys, right? But look at it, it's blueberries sweetened in apple juice. And wild blueberries are actually these teeny, tiny, tiny blueberries that are way better than those big fat cultivated ones. Wildflower honey, that's local, I can promise you. It's not the stuff that's cut with rice syrup from China. Apples, coconut, pumpkin seed, ch -ch -ch chia, and lemon extract. That's what you wanna see. If you're gonna eat grains, this is what you want, organic, whole grains. Not like a bunch of filler, we talk about Gluten-free grains oftentimes being white rice and tapioca starch, those are simple carbohydrates that spike your glycemic index. You don't want that. This is super cool. I would probably make, if I ate oats, overnight oats soaked in almond milk and coconut milk and then top it with my favorite plant-based yogurt, which obviously you guys know is this one right here. Maybe throw on some fruit and you're good to go, right? So that's really cool. But right next to it, is another example of a granola. It's not quite a muesli. And it's organic nature's path pumpkin seed granola. And a lot of people will see organic, grab it, and run. But look what happens, right? 
when you turn it around, we look what it's made with, and it's made with whole grain uh, oats that are gluten-free. But the sweetener, you guys, is cane sugar instead of a paleo sweetener like these guys using maple syrup. We also have soy oil. Do you see that? So yeah, it's organic soy oil, so it's non-GMO. Remember, if something's organic, by law, it's non-GMO. If something is non-GMO, that don't make it organic. But soy oil, it's still ex uh, not expelled or pressed. Soy oil is still highly inflammatory, so that's garbage in my opinion. Um, and the rest of the ingredients are not bad. But you're talking about cane sugar and soy oil versus uh, sugar in the form of apple juice and no oil and sugar in the form of maple syrup. And then you look at the uh, macros there, and it's got a whopping nine grams of added sugar per serving. I would not pick that up. Now, some Costco's have Autumn's Gold granola bars and, oat, and um, granola that are fantastic because once again, it's a paleo granola bar. So what does that mean? It's paleo, meaning there's no grains in here. So look at these ingredients. Instead of uh, oats and sugar, they're putting a bunch of nuts, bunch of seeds, organic honey and maple syrup, totally paleo. We have coconut oil and vanilla. It doesn't matter that the almonds and pecans are not organic because they're protected by the shell. There's nothing here that has to be organic. If you find this or the granola at Costco, scoop it all day. Paleo granolas are the only granolas we eat because we don't eat oats or grains. But I'm telling you, this is the kind of stuff you want to put in your body. And between that and if you want to get oats, this muesli is best in class compared to any other, any other one on the market. It's next level, right? Okay, where to next? We float around the Costco warehouse. Let's go here. This is super exciting. So we've talked about crepini cauliflower wraps in the past. And it's such an interesting product because they used to use expeller pressed canola oil, then they graduated to olive oil. I discovered that with my video with Thomas DeLauer. We were like, high five, right? But now they make big burrito size wraps here. So you can do a lot of wrap in here. And look at the ingredients. Cage-free egg whites. I wish it was organic. I wish it was uh, pasture raised. I wish I was a little bit taller. Art wishes he was a baller, but what are you gonna do, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, we got cauliflower powder olive oil, xanthan gum is a totally harmless emulsifier. This is great, we're talking zero net carbs per wrap. That's awesome, you guys. Actually, I have a video and a recipe for uh, Keto Eggs Benedict, where I take this and I put it into a ramekin, I crisp it up, I fill it with an avocado hollandaise, prosciutto, and a poached egg. I'll put that recipe down below. It lives on flavecity.com, fantastic. And then if you want another keto wrap, you have that option, but you have this. And this isn't new, but it's actually relatively new at our Costco one in Chicago. It's Parmesan Folio's cheese wraps. And once again, it's a wrap with one ingredient, cheese. I count three. Yeah, well, the cheese is made up of that. Thank you, Art. <laughs> Art is the accountant after all. And it's one net carb. And the reason why, so even though we don't eat that much dairy in the house, I can eat aged cheeses like Parmesan, and so can you if you're lactose intolerant because aged cheeses have no lactose. How do cheeses have no lactose? Because when they're aged, the bacteria eat or consume the lactose during the aging process and they're lactose free. Now they're not casein free, so if you're allergic to casein, you can't have them, but these are basically low to no lactose cheese for Parmesan, Pecorino, aged cheddar, and stuff like that. I'd probably rather go with the cauliflower just because I love the texture of these, but either one of these is super duper cool and most definitely Bobby approved. And then I literally go like two steps around the corner and I see this product right here called Organic Amy Lou Kale and Mozzarella Chicken Burgers, right? So I'm like, all right, there's gonna be some garbage in there. This is not gonna be good, right? It's organic, which is great because chicken, if it's not organic, have a strict feed of corn and soy that is GMO laden. But you guys, ready to have your eyes blown out of the sockets? Look at these ingredients. So organic chicken, hip hip puree. Organic kale is really important because kale is one of the dirtiest of the dirty dozen members, so that's cool. Organic mozzarella, it's actually hard to find organic mozzarella in the grocery store. Then look at this. They're caramelizing onions in extra virgin olive oil. What the what? Uh, evaporated cane sugar, how much? We're talking one gram of sugar per patty. Who cares? Spices, that's gonna be their proprietary spice, spice, uh, spice blend. They don't wanna tell you. And extract, garlic, that is amazing, you guys. Now, I still eat it, even though I don't eat much dairy, but are you kidding me? 
This is amazing. The only thing that would make it better is maybe if it was like pasture raised chicken, which doesn't exist at the grocery store, but this is what you want to feed your family. Most chicken burgers, most chicken sausages, including the Amy Lou at my Costco are not organic. And I won't eat that because the chickens only eat Monsanto laden GMO corn and soy. At least with this, they're not eating that. They're eating a GMO free feed. Very, very important stuff. And then right next to that actually is one of the most important things I think at Costco for gut health. So we always have this in the fridge and they actually got rid of it early winter and I freaked out. This is naturally fermented sauerkraut. We talked about it before, but what makes it naturally fermented is look at the ingredients on the back art. You'll see an absence of vinegar. That's because it's a natural fermentation and vinegar is not bad for you, right? but it doesn't allow a natural fermentation process to occur. When that happens, there's living enzymes in here that are good for your gut. This is such a gut-friendly uh, gut food that when Rose is a little constipated, we'll give her like a teaspoon of the uh, sauerkraut juice and it really helps her like go to the bathroom. This is fantastic stuff. You have to eat raw, you can't cook it, but I would always, repeat, always scoop that because it's so good and it's half the price of like, this one we normally would get back in the day. Where is it? Before I realized that was a Costco, I used to get this Bubby's one, which is basically the same. The only difference is it's twice the price. And homie, don't play that game anymore, right? So, really cool things in that aisle right there. All right, Rose would not go to sleep, and I don't blame her. She wants to hang out with the Flav City family and finish the video. So, Rose, we just went over a ton of really cool stuff. I'll show you later on. Um, let's just end this video with a couple of my all-time favorites. You may know these, but I just want to go over it. You always want to buy Rayo's sauce at Costco. It's literally half the price of anywhere else. The ingredients are always best in class. The only knock is it's not organic tomatoes, and uh, tomatoes are on the dirty dozen list, but they do peel them and steam them so some of the pesticides from the skin come off, but it's the best you can do at Costco, and it's way better than the organic Kirkland one, and the flavor is next level. Um, Nutso is amazing. I was reluctant to buy this for a long time because it's pricey, but look at the ingredients here. I know Costco has their own version now. We don't have it in Chicago, but look at the salt there. It's Celtic sea salt. These are the only guys in the universe who use Celtic sea salt, actually one of the two salts I only cook with here, because Celtic sea salt is an unrefined salt with 70 trace minerals that won't spike your blood pressure. Very, very important stuff. I'm gonna put a link down below for Celtic salt because it's one of my favorite salts right now, and it's way better than using iodized salt or white salt like this. This stuff will spike your blood pressure and it's processed, bleached, and refined. I'd rather you get the Celtic salt, but this is better than the Costco version because it has a few more nuts and seeds in there. I love beets and sometimes I don't wanna make my own, but I swear these organic steamed beets taste just as good as homemade beets and they're so cheap, it's crazy. I love them. Are you eating daddy's microphone? <laughs> Are you eating daddy's microphone? And then you guys know I love the avocado oil mayo from Sir Kensington's because I'm, I'm still saying because of Art and I, they changed the recipe, they got rid of the sugar and it literally is cheaper to buy it than to make it now, but they're not using organic eggs. And then I'm waiting for it, but this Primal Kitchen Vegan Ranch has been in test markets at uh, Costco. It's completely dairy-free, avocado oil based, best in class ingredients. They were nice enough to send me a demo of that. If you have this at your Costco, I think it's like in Texas and maybe Oklahoma, I would run there as soon as possible because that is fantastic. Uh, what? That's it. All right, guys, that is it. We just went over a bunch of new, healthy, a lot of keto, a lot of paleo, a lot of super clean items with best in class ingredients available at Costco. Yeah, it might have been a little better if we were in the warehouse and walking around with those neon lights on my skin, you know, but what are you gonna do? Maybe the gods will grace us uh, with a, a pass to get back in there, but either way, we're gonna make the videos. We're gonna help you be the best shopper and buy the best quality stuff to put into you and your family's body. Like, subscribe, share. The only way this uh, channel keeps growing the way it has is by you spreading the love. Um, if you, oh! <laughs> Desi said that was gonna happen. If she keeps pulling on your bracelet, <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's okay, Rose. Uh, we got two videos. 
going below us right now. Uh, but Art and I and Rose and Desi and everyone will see you very soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. <laughs> you got daddy.